A local Dreshaw? Myrtle Fargate's boutique? How typical. Corvina, you have these people terrified. A girl in tears. Once again, you show your true colors. Thank you very much, Corvina. That will be all. Who are you to give me orders? Look at you. You look like Savarog. How dare you call me that? You don't even know what it means. I can certainly tell by your tone that it's not meant as a compliment. Someone call security? Ah, uh, no, really, thank you, but I can deal with her. All right, Corvina, you have accomplished what you came for. I have my dress. Now I would appreciate your leaving. I have a reputation to consider. A reputation? As what? A professional wife? Excuse me? How many men have you made jump through that hoop you called a wedding ring? How many men have you tricked into a drunken one-night stand? How dare you? And have they all had the good taste and the good sense of Dimitri? Or did even one of them ever get back in touch with you when they sobered up? Kendall was right. You are hateful. And you are such a fool to ally yourself with that troll. Once Anton wakes up and realizes the mistake he made, don't you know you're going to be alone? Anton and I are closer now. And soon he will have what is rightfully his. Oh, Corvina. You're not hiding behind some iron curtain. I can see what you're really up to. This is not about Anton and what rightfully is his. This is about you and not getting Dimitri. You love him. You want him. And Dimitri, he couldn't care less. That must be very galling to you. Did you think your dream would come true when, when Dimitri brought you to America? That Anton would be his protege and you would be his bride? We might have been in a family if you'd stayed away. Corvina. Corvina, you never had a chance with Dimitri, not even when he and I were apart. You and Dimitri will pay for herding me. Don't you see the fantasy you're living in? You are not a woman scorned, not anywhere but in your own mind. And why on earth would you ever want to hurt Dimitri? Dimitri's done nothing that help you and Anton. Don't patronize me, you self-serving shrew. You are cold. Corvina! Cruel! Darling, I can handle her. You can handle him, but you will never manipulate me. What the hell is wrong with you? What is wrong with me? Why do you think I'm in the wrong? You are making a scene. <laughs> she is flouncing around in her underwear, but you are embarrassed. I'm speaking all my right, mind. All right, all right, get a hold of yourself right Leave now. Leave me alone. I'm not your servant anymore. You cannot tell me how to behave. Corvina, you are humiliating yourself. No, I'm telling the truth, and I don't care who hears it. Everybody knows you are a slut. Have you lost your mind? I used to admire you. You were a young master of Vazel. So elegant. So refined. Yeah, you say whatever you want about me, but you leave my wife out of it. We all thought you are gonna marry a princess. <laughs> what a pathetic joke. He shackled himself to a common tart who bets every man she meets. Okay, Corvina, you just shut up now. You are a pig, a filthy pig, no better than a whore. Apologize to my wife, Corvina. You must be out of your mind. I said apologize. No, she is the one who should be sorry. I'm not a serf on the Marik estate anymore. And I won't be beaten like a slave. We have always treated you with respect. You treated us like chattel. Since when did chattel receive personal checking accounts? Your father slapped my face for bringing him cold tea. I couldn't have been more than seven years old, but I can feel the sting to this day. My mother made me apologize. She forced me to take a blame. Not anymore, Count Andrasi. The Mariks 
won't abuse me anymore. When did I ever abuse you, Corvina? The night you took me to bed? Corvina, I didn't... Corvina, you said you seduced him. You've already admitted that it's too late to change your story. I was a young girl, an innocent girl. One night changed my life. And you didn't know? You could have told me. You didn't. Why should you bother? Why should you bother about the Hungarian maid? I've been with one man in my life, and he doesn't recall. Corvina, it wasn't my fault. You are like your father. Hugo used Flora, and you used me. He gave their baby to the gardener, and you tossed away our son. That is like not rat. true. I love Anton. This is why you wrote him out of your will. Yes, as a matter of fact, it is. You leave your fortune to that trollop and abandon your own flesh. Get a hold of yourself right now. Oh, Dimitri, you spoiled her little Bianca, and you forgot about your own son. This is oh. senseless raving. This is not the Corvina that I know. Oh, you don't know me. And you never.